Let's just do this. Okay. Okay. Um. You take you up. Oh. Um, I don't, yeah, there's nothing I can really do here. Am I within, re yeah, that's just killed. There we go. Oops, <laughs> that could have gone better. Oh well. Victories, full light, deadly feet. Achievement, Warden. Defeat an enemy with your Warden. Raid Master, defeat an enemy with your Raid Master. I already got one achievement from the first battle. Previously. Sweet. There they are. Gods be damned. I got to go wash off this blood. Eric's looking out the hall windows out into the bay. A fleet of longships approach with the sails of blood red blood of uh, uh, bold reds and blues. One banner I know well, Vognia. Next for a vile kingship, last we spoke. The other flag looks important. Yeah, important guess. See what I deal with all day long? Ah, things make a little more sense. You hoped I'd take a stake and sing. Everything's fine here when the royal guests arrive. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure there are no rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the great hall before they come back. Bye. Can I ask one more favor? What is it? If you ho happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Ah! Okay, that's my mouse fault. I need to get a new mouse if I'm going to continue playing this, I think. Um. Because I am skipping over dialogue and I can't see a way to go back. That's annoying. I wish there was a way I can actually uh, see what I last said. Is there? Eric and Valka hustle from the meat house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spare of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go to meet the new arrivals down the docks. Unless there is. Let's see. Um... Yeah, I'm not playing this on a controller. Oh, I can play this with a controller. I'll remember that for next time. Um, actually, will my controller even turn on? Let's see. I actually have to go underneath my desk for this one. Okay. This might be some weird noises going on for a second. So all my USB plugins in the front are being taken up. So I don't know what that sounded like. Problems with the headset. Or benefits, since I was able to, you know, literally go underneath my desk. I have not turned this on in ages. Is there even batteries? Not even batteries in here. <laughs> oh no. There's no batteries on my desk, is there? Oh no, this was poorly planned. <laughs> Where did I put my extra batteries? Um, I would edit this out, but I don't have much time tonight to be recording. Um, there's candles falling everywhere. Okay, I need to mute my mic. Okay, now I got some uh, batteries. Why did I take the batteries out of here? <laughs> that wasn't smart of me. Um, did I even put that in right? No. Ow. Hurt myself. <laughs> I hurt myself with batteries. That's not even in the. I just electrocuted myself way, but the. Uh, I literally just hit my knuckle with one in a hurt way. Okay. Let's see if that works now. Do you want to. Okay. Um, invert sticks, no. So, I think we're good. There we go, this will at least help with the control thing. With the uh, double click thing. Um, down here, I guess. Docks. Oh, it's been a while since I've used a control. This is so dusty. Vognia. 
A familiar vowel steps out onto the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version tramping in the halls of Groveheim, abundant in purpose. God, Zubin, you look, you're looking ancient. Comes with being old, and if there is fog near, there must be a hack on. Must there? Still pleading tributes from the poor and stupid old yaks. In a wet age, do you lose a sense of shame? Jondo demands it. I'll take that over, lingering to death in Gotham. Speaking of, I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returned from Arborong, in fact. And glad for it. Hakka Munchen motions to the other ships in the bay, sails still fluttering. Golden wolf head blazoned on red. The king's men, king of men, or someone on his behalf. The king's whelp. The king's son, Ladin. Do you know Sk Skypener? We visit his capital. He visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Hacken has it. I almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Hacken. Then you're going to gruff him? I have a distinct feeling I finished my business in Strand. I was heading there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day. In a better circumstances, I'd drink a week away, but uh, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he's saying, trying to say, is the prince is the delight to behold. Where is Marga? Hakon had. Ugh. Hakon, have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading up to meet the governor. A host of giants. De the a host of giants depart in his wake. You recognize a few. Others are strangers to you. Guess I'm off to find Marga. See you in the morning, Skyvener. I'll be along. The young prince of man ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Ludden looks for all the world the sort of boy who grew up pulling the legs from spiders. The long road back to Gotham should be more interesting than more steers, you think. Sorry for the Discord message. Forgot to mute that. It's not meant for me anyways. <laughs> uh. Weirdness suddenly settles in, and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it's been. One of the governor's men at the Great Hall could find you a place to sleep. On the other hand, if you're going to join Wagner Caravan tomorrow, it might not hurt to share a drink with Hakon, or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. Um. Oh, he looks horrible. I'm going to go talk to Hakon. <laughs> Governor. You find Hakon in the meat house, surrounded by other brawls. Strand is no stranger to Varl, but rarely sees this many. Hakon waves you over. Went straight for a wagon? Flogging? Ugh. <laughs> Flogging are the ones who agreed to pass up a drink. I wasn't invited to the governor's hall anyway. You already missed the massacre. Every year I make the rounds collecting taxes. Every year it's the human settlements that give me trouble. No surprise. What this time? When I got here, the Great Hall was already full of bodies. We added a few more. Ha! Humans. Guess if I only lived as long as a yox fart, I might be desperate to make something of myself, too. It's not too late to start trying, Hacken. <laughs> oh! Hacken let slips a low chuckle. Any Varl could recount his deeds, known as he is for cutting a squat through dredge at the Bognir side in the Second War, and regularly, regularly since then. Down here, I'm a glorified bodyguard. You might have a point. Just another reason to get back to Rafium. Soon enough, I imagine. You drink over me until the mean house becomes overbearing, then step back into the cold air outside. Oh, do I have to do both? Fine, I'll go say hi. Oh, I can't can just go to that. I'll go say hi to the prince. Is this the right place? You find the prince at an inn. Guards blanket the building, including a shot by Vrile, who must be working for Ludin. A woman in red eventually waves you over and stands nearby, arms crossed. Greetings, Prince Ludin. Yes, you're with Vagnia. I don't remember you. Not exactly. I've known Vagnia a long time. I'm gonna join you back to Grofham with my gods. Ludin looks up for the first time. The woman doesn't react. Why? 
I work for the king, carrying tights to the capital. We cross by chance. Oh, a tax collector. Fine company. What do you want? Uh, how about recording history? I think we might talk about your visit. Ooh, I like that! <laughs> uh, nope, I'm gonna do that one. A viral historian. <laughs> Don't you already know? Your king and my both have been particularly trumpeting it throughout the cities. I've been on a road a while, I'm afraid. Luden takes a deep sigh. Whether tired or ungracious, you aren't certain. Maybe both. Uh, formality, mostly. Fognir came to our capital in Aberong, and now we go to Varl's capital in Grafheim to cement this grand, al grand alliance for the next age of man of Varl. You sound unconvinced. There's no need for it, and it's damn cold up here. You get the sense you're struggling not to complain outright. You take the opportunity to excuse yourself. I will take any opportunity to be to do the uh, historian options. Uh, at dawn, you're awoken by delivery good delivery of goods. At least you think it's dawn. Damn hard to tell with the sun never when. Damn hard to tell with a sun that never moves. The governor requests adorns to supply leathers. All there, just as promised, to your mild surprise. You wonder if Eric had anything to do with that. T plus twenty renown. You guys take treasure wagons down to the gates. Ragnar's already there. A while later, Luden is men appear, groggy and disheveled. Margaret steps forward. Ragnar is quartermaster, if you recall correctly, in charge of his unwell wealthy entourage of wars. You know him only in passing. He asks if you're ready to depart. We're ready. You follow Magir and join the others. Usually the smaller doors set in the gates would be enough to enter the city, but the town guards have been told to push them open entirely. They mutter things under their breath that they are that are best not hurt. Perhaps the governor expected you to draw a crowd, but there's nothing of the sort. Just frustrated, tired people. Summarize the strand well as a whole, you think? Oof. Bye, strand. <laughs> I saw something. I need to take a drink of water. Oh. For some reason, I did not expect this to be a uh, more morale decline. To be uh, so talkative or so visual novelly. It's been a bit since I've done one of those. Need to uh, get used to that again. It's 366 bar, so that's less than 85 fighters. The caravan stops for the day. A gift, says Margaret, cracking open mead casks, from our gracious friends, the Governor of Strand. Ours pass with righteous laughter as the meat is passed through our camp. Drink a little, drink a lot, toast to Wagner. Let's toast to Wagner. You raise your drink, toasting the alliance between man and Varl. The others join in. Luden's expression is like a stone wall, but the others laugh at your exaggerations. Eventually, you sit down beside Wagner. Uh, let's chat. Chat with him. Thanks for the speech, slurs Wagner. Looks like you didn't. Looks like you didn't have to miss out after all. Thanks to Margir, I thought the damn governor would never shut up. Did he give you the history of his entire family? He tried. Then he asked me to clean up his mess for your benefit. Turns out, I'd have given the job to you too. Gods, there's no joy in politics. Speaking of, what happened after this business with Luden? What happens after this business with Luden? Hopefully the boy goes back to Arborange on his own, and I can take care of some frustrations on drags or something. It's starting to sound like Hakon. You don't like the life of a diplomat? Haha, <laughs> don't, don't you miss the fight, Ubin? You down your meat instead of replying. Wagner slouches, shakes his head. There's no great joy in killing Dredge, but this... Pretty sure this nonsense is more a scheme between the two kings to force some kind of lineage. It used to be, warriors would follow you for what you've done. Isn't that why they follow you now? Is it? Or is it because I'm the next in line? These lines are getting muddy, old Varl. They've always been muddy, Wagner. Wagner stares into the campfire, lost in thought. You leave him to it. You rise groggily. The campsite's a casualty of merriment. 
Mogner's already kicking warriors awake when he spot Ludin stalking in our direction. He steps aside so the sleeping bodies. You better wake up. You're nudge, Wagner. You're needed. Uh, how do I save in this game? I'm s I can't press X because then it's going to skip over this, so I'll figure that out in a second. Uh, it's Ludin. Oh, it's a pleasure. You look well rested. Wagner releases a caged yawn and receives a hard eye stare in return. How long took off, him? Ha, huh, you're only two days out of strand, you know? Come, I'll show you on a map. Is this where we get a tutorial of maps or something? Yes, it is. Uh, R to pan around the map. Use R3 to zoom in for a closer look. Portrait icon shows where your caravan is in the world. You can use that or that or that to select any location to give. Get some history about it. When you're done with the map, press B. Wait, how did I get the history stuff again? No? How do I get the history stuff? Oop. What did I do? Um, apparently open the Discord chat. No, thank you. Oh my gosh, I forgot which button it said to. Just press to get the disc, to get the history. Um, map controls. I sure you want to rebind the controller. Okay. Oh no, this is not what I meant to do. I just want to see controls. Um. That one. I think. I think it's this one. Okay. That helps, but. Oh no, what have I done? I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is not what I meant to do. Wait, what? Press the share button? I don't have a share button. I don't know what you're talking about. Press the option button. Cool. That's not what I meant. I thought I was just gonna give me controls of the map. Okay, fine. Oh. And it inverted my stuff. One second. Oh, that's how. Yay. And run whale. Run wall. In the first grade war, men of all fought viciously for run walls, abundant farmlands, and coasts of flowing, overflowing with fish. Only with the help of Manders with Rundell eventually become the home of Barbarange, the capital of men, and Marhar, where the Manders would gather in council. Oh no. No. There you go. Okay. I don't want either of these inverted. Oh no, what have I done? Okay. Um. I've messed up things. It's now inverted. Okay. Oh, is that where I let off? Okay. Well. Shoot. I really cannot. Ah, how does saving work in this game? I don't think I can save. I think I just have to go until it's done. Okay. There you go. No! Stop opening Discord. Okay, how do I get out of the map? There you go. I think I s all the buttons are different now. I need to fix this. Uh, we head north, then east, past the forts. Goff and fire from the stand. Going to be a long march. You should have drank last night, Loden. Why not take the ships to Sky Mistra? What's the point of marching? Silverstone Bay is called that for a reason. 
His stays covered in ice all year. He would tear up the longships. Too bad, though. We should have... We could have shown you all the wonders the sky bestowed. Half sucken city. Crawling with dredge prints. Dredge and glaciers. You like glaciers? Luden exhales with a nose, a part of skies for his contempt. He turns and bats aside the tent flaps as he goes, barking at his company in the distance. Don't poke the anthill, Vognir. He seems no happier to be here than you. Spend a few more days with that boy, old friend. You'll be looking for a tall cliff to hop off to. Luden's got a shorter wick than Hacken. Thanks, Vognir. Let's get moving. Another half day to file the fella for lucky. Uh, camp is where you manage your caravan. During travel, you can enter camp at any time by tapping the camp button on the travel hood. While at camp or in towns, you can upgrade your allies or equip an uh, uh, items in the hero's tent. You can pass time by using the rest tent. Resting will improve the caravan's morale. High morale will reduce casualties and war, and affect your willpower in combat. Each passing day will use supplies, so only rest when necessary. The training tent will allow you to safely try out any character in the mock battle. Tap leave at the bombing campsite when you're ready to go back to the road. Um, actually, does that count as a save? I'm gonna hope that counts as a save, because otherwise I'm gonna have to play a lot before the next thing, because I really can't actually play anymore. So, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!